All right, guys, I want to I want to jump into just a couple of like a couple of questions for you guys. And then we got 10 questions currently sitting in the Q&A uh, that I'd like to get through as well. Make sure that those people get answers. Um, and actually, this was thrown in the chat and I don't know where in the chat it is now. It's about four miles up, but I did see it come in and it was concerning the lifespan tied to 802.11ax. So I was curious if you could maybe speak to what you're kind of expecting that to be. Jonathan, maybe? Lifespan's going to deter be determined mostly by the, uh, the IEEE and then also the clients. I think the clients, um, you know, and, and the efficiencies of what, what Wi-Fi 7 or, or 6E is going to give us and, and your, you know, how, how that relates to you uh, today. I think the, there's so much improvement in Wi-Fi 6 and you're looking, uh, I think the average is a five year. Um, some people start to plan about every, you know, three years, but on a five year refresh, but um, I don't, we don't know what we don't know about the new, the new standards and, and coming up. And so I would say, you know, in, in a world of video and always on and, and uh, cloud never sleeping uh, environment, uh, that's going to be a, fee, a need for bandwidth. It's always going to be, you know, every more, more every day. And so uh, how long it can last and how long it can hold up to three years from now, four years from now, I don't know, but I think it's got, I mean, I think it's, it's, it's got so much efficiency and so much um, improvements over AC that I think it's, I think it's going to be here for a while. Yeah. And, and, and we're, we're also doing, oh, sorry. I don't want to interrupt uh, Klaus. Do you want to, did you want to yeah, talk? Um, yeah. Maybe just say that from a standardization point of view, I think the view from the IEEE, the IEEE is, is the standardization body responsible for actually creating the, the, you know, the dot 11 standards for AC and AX, which is now AX is now called, Wi-Fi 6 and the next one I think is called BE and that'll then be Wi-Fi 7. But, <laughs> but um, yeah, so the, the, the cycle for that, they've now decided is five years. Uh, and so that's for the standardization. But, but I agree with Jonathan in the sense that it will depend on uh, what the, the device market looks like. I mean, there are uh, still a lot of devices, perhaps not the sexiest devices, but maybe IoT devices so that run on standards that are very old that are still being used, like the end standards, for example. Um, we could also imagine that for uh, AI, oh, sorry, I should say one by six, uh, there's so many features that, and we haven't even scratched the surface of that in this conversation. I mean, we could probably carry on for hours and hours. There's so many features that will be um, used, I think, over the next few years to create new use cases. And for example, in, in industrial and so on, um, that might have a very, very long lifetime uh, to them because once they get integrated into who knows automotive and 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 more complex equipment, then their refreshment cycle is much, perhaps much longer. So that means that 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 may not change for many many years, right? And and there's use cases that you know I, I, I think I maybe mentioned before extended range, for example, for low bit rates is a great use case for IoT. Um, uh, and low battery uh, uh, consumption is another great use case for IoT. So you can imagine, particularly in these industrial areas, perhaps that there will be um, many, many years of, of, of use for, for the AX standard or for the Wi-Fi 6 standard, I should say, right? So yes, absolutely. Five years, I would say, is the theoretical one, but uh, it could be much longer than that. Uh, in, in certain areas, it could possibly also be uh, shorter in the sense that I think there will be the standard itself uh, or, or the, the technology uh, that's being in, implemented on a basis of the standard will also evolve over the next few years, right? Well, I'm sure we'll see improved uh, Wi-Fi 6. This is not, I'm sure also the Cambium products are not the only Wi-Fi 6 products ever to leave the Cambium factory and that'll be it. Uh, you will have uh, also at some point uh, better software for them and so on, right? 